We just had one of the biggest sneaker release weeks of the entire year. Yeezys are back and about ready to hit the outlets. And are these 10 sneakers combined worth a cool M? All of these stories and plenty more in this week's sneaker wrap. Hello everybody, it is me, Jordan Young, back once again with another Certified Hood Classic. Every Saturday I do these sneaker wrap videos where we look back at some of the biggest sneaker news stories from the week, talk about some exciting upcoming sneaker releases, and generally just have a gay old time with one another. If you guys want to keep up with me in real time, do me a favor and go and give me a follow on IG. Let's start things off off by recapping this week's biggest sneaker releases and as I said before it was a huge week probably the biggest week of the year so far especially for us here in the UK we started off the week with the Yeezy restock this was a whole series of Yeezys that we've already seen to be fair in the past restocking on the confirmed app it's the first of many releases that are going to wheel out in this way and from what I've been able to see on the confirmed app a lot of this stuff is still sitting I've heard rumors out there that a lot of this stock has actually actually been fast-tracked to Adidas outlets and will continue to do so over the course of the next two or three weeks. Did you guys come up on anything for the Yeezy restock? Feel free to let me know. Here in the UK, we had a sneaky restock on the Nike sneakers app of a few pretty cool pairs, including the Air Jordan 1 High Origin Story, the Haisa Leal SB Dunks, and the Futura SBs as well saw something like 2,000 extra pairs made available on the app. We also had the Nike sneakers app release of the Travis Scott Jordan 1 Low Canary or the Elkins pair. I know for you guys in the US, this release went down a couple of weeks ago now, but for us here in the UK, we finally saw these release. The Action Bronson 1906R Rosewater collab went live on Action Bronson's website. He released the password for this drop on his IG, which a lot of people were critical of because essentially it enabled the bots to go over onto his website and cook. These sold out really quickly. Very nice pair though, nonetheless. Did you guys manage to hit on these? It wasn't the only 1906R collab that went down this week. There was also the Foot Patrol collab that went live. And last I checked, these were still available on the Foot Patrol website if you needed a pair of these. I think the surprise drop for a lot of people this week were these, the Air Jordan 17 Low Lightnings. These were apparently very limited and were only made available at certain boutiques. You might have even seen videos online going viral this week about dudes no younger than 35 years old queuing up outside waiting for these to drop. And as a result of the limited availability, these have actually been reselling for quite a bit online. And from what I've come to understand from Nike and Jordan brand moving forward, some of these higher numbered Jordans are set to come out in the future in these types of ways. Very limited availability, boutiques only. What do you guys think of that? And bro, we're not even done yet. We had Salehi Banbury's debut sneaker with Crocs, the Pollux Juniper that dropped as well. These also sold out pretty quickly on the Salehi website. I think a lot of people are interested in how these are going to feel on foot. And finally, the Asics Gel Light 3 remastered the Soul colorway. Very nice colorway, very nice looking premium materials. Did you guys come up on these? Let me know. You guys might have seen this story floating around this week. This is a massive auction event happening over at Sotheby's. Over 850 pairs of sneakers, which are valued at over two million dollars are going to be up for auction with no reserve these belong to a businessman called miles nadal and there are some crazy pairs in the collection but sneaker news picked out 10 of these pairs which they reckon value 1 million by themselves so i thought it might be fun to go through this list and sort of see whether or not this value is justified i think the big bangers in this lineup have got to be these these are the moon shoes from 1972 these are basically like the original nikes the pair that Bill Bowerman designs with the aid of his wife's waffle iron to give to track stars of the Oregon running team. These sold back in 2019 for something like $437,000. So these could well be worth around half a million. Next up, these are the Shinedown Air Jordan 1s. These look like yellow taxis and are valued according to the auction site at around 40K, but I think that's a bit of a reach. Jordan 1 High Chicago's from 1985 signed by Michael Jordan. I'm not really sure where the value would be on these. Louis Vuitton Air Force One lows, depending on the size, these can run anything up to 150K. Paris SBs, the estimates they've given on the website is between 50 and 70k which i think is probably about right next up the jordan one high dorm beckers or the what the dorm beckers there were only 17 pairs of these ever produced and these can go for a lot i've seen some people asking up to 100k for this pair right here Derek jeter 11s i'm not sure to be honest where you would put the value on these i mean all these pairs are so hard to 
price because there's so few of them out there on the market. These are real collector's pieces. For people out there saying none of these shoes are worth anywhere near that, you've got to remember these are highly rare, highly coveted, and are being targeted towards a market that neither you or I reside in. These are the M&M &M 4 Encores. There was a pair that came out back in 2007 and then there were some subsequent sample retros. I'm not sure which pair this particular one is. Then you have the Chanel NMDs. You guys might remember when these came out, these were selling for a lot of money, but not so much anymore. And finally, the 2016 Auto Lacing Mags. These are just nowhere. You can't find pairs of these for sale anymore. They were very limited, something like 89 pairs ever produced. And so if you tot up all of the money for all of these shoes, I feel like you're probably not going to be far off a million. But if you did pay a million dollars for this lineup, I don't think there would be much margin to make any money on moving forward, particularly given how tumultuous the current sneaker market is. What do you guys think? Are these 10 worth a mil or not? Let me know. Speaking of crazy rare and crazy expensive sneakers, Check this pair out that sold on eBay this week. This is a DS pair of Nike SB Dunk Low Staple Pigeons. This is the Reed Space Skate Store exclusive, which were even more rare than the Staple Pigeons. These sold for $45,600 and the $15 shipping. Only 30 pairs of these were produced. You can see they've got the numbering on the outside of the sneaker. They've also got the extra staple font on the side as well. And this pair is crispy, size 11. You might be thinking 45K is a crazy amount to pay for a pair of shoes. And yeah, I would totally agree with you. But some people out there, particularly SB collectors and people that are in the know, are actually claiming that whoever bought these got these for a pretty good deal. And I guess if you're an SB collector and you're into your history, you might well be inclined to agree. This guy got sent a pair of Nike SB Dunk Low Futuras with a factory defect, which as we all know, can be like a golden ticket or winning the lottery. This guy's tongue tag came stitched upside down. And I think the guy actually went to the trouble to put these on eBay for some kind of crazy number, although I'm not sure whether or not they sold. But this type of phenomenon, it seems, has inspired a lot of people out there to take up amateur sewing. Now, earlier in the week, we had seen some reports that we were gonna be getting a Varsity Red Air Jordan 1 Low. And this news came about because of the emergence of a new SKU number that was linked to the whole Varsity Red colorway. And so a lot of people were getting excited that we were gonna be seeing a return of the Chicago or a Chicago-esque type Jordan 1 Low this year. But subsequent news has revealed that that SKU number is gonna be assigned to this particular pair here, the home version of the Trophy Room 1 Lows. Now, if you're like me, you thought that these already came out alongside the other Trophy Rooms that we had last month or whatever, and we just didn't see anyone with them because they were all backdoored. But no, apparently these are gonna be dropping sometime in the next month or so. The Adidas vinyl signed by Ye a few months ago now is gonna be auctioned off for $500,000. You guys might have seen this story this week, but yeah, the guy that managed to get this signed by Ye is putting it up for auction via this platform called Gotta Have Rock and Roll. And this auction is beginning on June the 19th, and I wonder what you guys think. I mean, this is a really famous vinyl signing because of how viral this moment was and the whole timing of Ye releasing his merch with the whole F Adidas thing going on. And so no doubt there are probably some kind of very rich collectors out there that might well pay a pretty penny for this particular bit of memorabilia, but 500K? Ah, bro, I don't know, man. Right, let's talk about some new looks, some new sneakers. We have a whole bunch of cool sneakers to talk about. Let's start off with Kyrie Irving. He's dropping a new shoe for the NBA Finals. The Mavericks have been on a bit of a tear and they're about to face off against the Celtics and we've got a new pair of these Anta playoff inspired energy Kai ones. These are pretty cool. They're coming out on the 5th of June. They have sort of like lemon or SpongeBob-esque type color blocking about them. And that's not the only new sneaker from Kyrie that we saw this week. We also saw a lifestyle version. This is Kyrie's first lifestyle sneaker with Anta. These are being called the Kai Tribes. They've already dropped in China. There's no release date information for when they're gonna be coming out over this side of the world, nor any pricing information at this point. And some people have been wondering why are they called the Kais as in K-A-I? And just to put it out there right now, it stands for his initials. It's Kyrie Andrew. 
Andrew Irving. These lifestyle sneakers look pretty nice. They kind of have a bit of a Reebok Club C or maybe a low top Vans type vibe about them. The inspiration from Kyrie's ethnic background can be seen in some of the detailing. Materials look really good. I think this is a dope sneaker. What do you guys think? For our first look at Sabrina Ionescu's next sneaker, the Nike Sabrina 2. These are called the Conductors. And look, these are nice. I've made it pretty clear that I think Sabrina has one of the nicest looking Nike signature shoes out there. You guys probably saw this stuff this week, the whole Balenciaga and Under Armour collab. Look, at this point, it really feels like Balenciaga are just gonna let anybody hit it. If that's not bad enough, man, these prices are insane as well. Bro, $1,450 for the hoodie. That's $1,450. Could probably get, ironically enough, a fairly similar looking Under Armour hoodie from the outlets for $14.50. The shorts are $11.50, bro. Go into your dad's wardrobe. You'll probably find a pair of Under Armour shorts there. And bro, the socks, the socks are 150 bucks, but the logo of the socks is down on the foot. So if you're wearing these with shoes, ain't nobody gonna know. Now in terms of the crepes, I don't know man, these kind of look like predator shoes or maybe some fencing joints. These other ones aren't too bad. These ones aren't too bad. To be honest. But yeah, this whole collection is obviously built for skinny white people that have way too much money. What do you guys think? The Jacquemus and Nike Air Max 1 collection is releasing soon. I can't tell you exactly when, but apparently releasing soon. There are three colorways. There's a red colorway, a white colorway, and a blue colorway. 180 bucks. But yeah, these are okay. Not really my bag, to be honest. I feel like these are probably more for the fashion MFs out there. These kind of look a little bit like bowling shoes to me, but what do you guys think? An Air Max 1 collab that I can get down with though, however, is this one for sure, the Huff Air Max 1 collection is releasing on June the 15th. 160 bucks, and this is the first time that we've seen Huff and Nike join up on an Air Max for pretty much like 20 years. I think the best colorway in this lineup for me are these, the Dark Apple colorway, the Iconic colorway. But there's also apparently going to be another two alternate options, one in this brilliant orange colorway and another in this pink POW colorway as well. Now apparently these are gonna be releasing via Huff on June the 15th, as I said, and then later on in June on the Nike sneakers app, I think June the 26th. Second. Some detailed looks at the Amelion Dor New Balance 1000 collection. The New Balance 1000 so far this year has been a big hit. This ALD collab is set to come out at a date yet to be announced. Three different colorways to look forward to. Got a white slash cream pair, a slightly more gray version, and then a darker version as well. These all look pretty nice, very neutral, very easy to wear. It looks like the AE1, which is probably this year's most successful basketball sneaker. In fact, it's probably the most successful debut basketball sneaker of any athlete ever. If you guys wanted to check out my recent video where I talked about the success of the AE1, go and click on the video above. But it looks like we're gonna be getting the AE1 all the way through until next year with this low top version in a classic white, black, and red set to come out at the start of next year. You know, oftentimes when you see brands come out with friends and family pairs, you're sort of thinking, damn, I wish they had brought these out. I would have loved to have had a chance at hitting on that particular pair for retail. Well, we've got some detailed looks at the Oski SB Dunk High Friends and Family Pair, and I think you'll agree with me when I say I'm glad these never came out. You guys can keep these absolutely fine. It's a red SB Dunk High with the Oski Shark swoosh on the side. Dark outsole, I mean, yahoo. Speaking of SBs, we've had some fresh looks at a brand new SB Dunk Low. These are being called the City of Cinema, and these could likely be coming out in the summertime, although there is no firm release dates or solid info to go off. But it takes its inspiration from the rich cinematic history of Paris. In fact, I think it was just off the top of my head, I think it was like the Lumiere brothers that first brought a feature film to light in Paris back in the 19th century. I could be wrong about that, going back to my tour guide days with that. And these have this really nice golden colorway on the upper, which shines with an opulent glow that is supposed to be reminiscent of the grandeur of a film premiere. Heel tabs constructed from some sumptuous velvets. And these look kind of cool. If you look at some of these bad images, these almost look like some yellow lobsters that have gone underneath a car and then corroded and then oxidized. But then when you look at the higher res images, these actually look really nice. 
Staying in Paris, we've had some detailed looks of the Air Jordan 6 Craft Paris. These are really nice. They almost give me a little bit of DMP, or is it GMP vibes? Set to come out during the Paris Olympics this summer. Really nice looking materials on the upper. Pretty clean colorway, pretty simple, but I don't think these will be that hard to get. We're gonna stay in Paris some more, although for a different purpose, we've got some official images of the Air Jordan 3 K54, which is also gonna be going down this summer. And if you don't know, it's a outdoor street ball tournament in Paris. I've been lucky enough to go there before and they always release a set of Jordans alongside the tournament. This year it's a three and these are looking pretty clean, pretty cool. 210 bucks, 3rd of June is the release. And staying on the Jordan 3 topic, making some nice segues today, I have to say. We've had some new looks at the Jordan 3 Amaman years, which are going to be coming out this July. And these latest images have these looking really nice, in my opinion. When we first saw images courtesy of Potato Pick Extraordinaire XC sneaker, these initially looked really crap, in my opinion. They looked a bit dusty. They looked like they'd been run over in a car. They weren't particularly flattering images, although we could obviously see from the colorway that they were pretty nice. But these latest images have the quality looking good, have the silhouettes and the shape looking good the details are looking on points and Amamanye can always be relied on to give us some decent quality and so I've changed my opinion on these since seeing those first images I think these are really nice this will probably be a must cop at least they are for me what do you think another sneaker that I'm really excited about this year although we don't have any release date info on these are these the AirTech Challenge 2 in the hot lava colorway. If you're a fan of tennis, particularly Andre Agassi or the 90s vibes, this will be a very exciting shoe for you guys. Maybe also if your Nike Air Yeezy 2s need a sole swap at this point. I think these are cool and I'm pretty happy to see this sort of neo vintage wash that we've got on them with the aged and creamed out midsole. I do think this is one of Nike's better tennis silhouettes and it's just cool to see something else other than Jordans to be honest. What do you guys think of these? Official images of the Jordan 1 Low OG Gorge Green. These are set to come out this June on the 12th, 140 bucks. And you're probably thinking what I'm about to say, bro, those look like some Gucci as Jordan 1 lows, particularly with the black and the green and the reds. I think these are really nice. We've had some release update information around the Stussy and Nike LD 1000. These are supposedly going to be coming out this fall. We've got one colorway here, the green and black fossil colorway. We've also had some information that we might be getting a size or a size collab in the Nike LD 1000 as well coming out this year, but no release date info and no speculative mockups or images. And we've had some images of the Air Jordan 1 Low OG Year of the Snake. This year we had the Year of the Dragon and obviously the year before last year, the Year of the Rabbit. And these look pretty cool as well. They definitely seem like they've got a lot more detailing about them compared to the Year of the Dragons that we had this year. And so I'm wondering if these might be maybe a little bit more limited in the same way the Year of the Rabbits were last year. But our first sneaky look at the Travis Scott Jordan 1 Low Shy Pink, which are set to come out next spring for 150 bucks. They're not that far away from this early pick that we've had leaked here. In fact, they are pretty close. Right, let's talk about some of the biggest sneakers upcoming this week. I am going to be bringing out a video tomorrow talking about all of June's most exciting releases, but let's quickly go over this week's biggest ones in a little cheeky nutshell. There's a whole bunch of cool Yeezys dropping on June the 3rd. The pick of the bunch for me have got to be the V2 Statics. June the 4th, you guys over there in the US have the Dior Greenwood SB Dunk High Decon, the whole SB collab with Dior Greenwood. These are also available currently here in the UK if you needed a pair. June the 5th, the Anta Kai Playoff Energy that we spoke about earlier. June the 6th, you have another Yeezy update on the Confirm That with some more big bangers. And then on June the 7th, you have the Kobe for Girl Dad or the Bi Coastals, which I've heard rumors are supposed to be quite voluminous. And that is it for this week's sneaker wrap. Thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch the video. Please don't forget to give the video a like before you bounce and drop a comment down below. And I will see you guys on the next one. Enjoy the rest of your day. Take care for now and peace.